here we are at the Justin Herman Plaza at the beautiful Embarcadero in San Francisco, and we're standing at one of the locations for the street artists. And can you tell me about this particular location, a little bit about the program, and how you become a street artist? Well, this location is very significant, Meg, because this was the very first and only location granted by the Board of Supervisors for the street artists when the program began in 1972. How does a person become a street artist? There are two major tenets, of course, in, in, as part of the street artist ordinance. You must make the work yourself and you must sell the work yourself. A street artist applies for a license and then has to submit his or her work to a committee of artists who are not street artists. And this committee actually watches them make the work in front of them so that we can verify that it is all their own work. What happens here during the holiday that makes this an exciting location to come to? It will be a magic time of year. You'll probably see on any given Saturday this place jammed with street artists. As you know, there's a lottery held here in the morning at 6 in the morning. That's how sought after these spaces are here. And you may get as many as 150 street artists to show up for probably 60 spaces. What other locations throughout San Francisco can a street, a licensed street artist sell their goods? They can sell primarily in the Fisherman's Wharf area, that is the western end of Fisherman's Wharf, in and around the Union Square area, Powell and Market. We have spaces now up in the Castro, in fact. How many licensed street artists are there? We have about 420 right now. Are these street artists here all year round? Out of the 420, I personally know about 150 who sell all year round, and I mean like five to seven days a week also. So are they making their living off of this? 100 to 150 are making their living. This is their sole source of income. How long have you been with this program, Howard, and how has the Street Artist Program changed during your time with the Arts Commission? I've been with the program since it began 37 and a half years ago, but I've seen changes in the trends in the program fashion comes and goes. Well, but I think you can still find plenty of tie-dye, perhaps, at the street artists in that any of is, the locations. Well, my own personal belief there is because the 60s is retro for a lot of people, um, and I've seen that come back now, yes. Tourists still think of San Francisco as you know, being the birth of that movement, and they want to see a certain amount of that, right? Correct, correct. <laughs> Well, great, Howard. Thanks for talking a bit about the background of the program, but I'm excited to go shopping. Will you introduce me to a couple of the artists? It'd be a great pleasure to, Meg. Great. Thank Let's you. go shopping. Let's go. Okay, Meg, I'd like you to meet two new street artists. This is Glenda and Jeremy, and they do fused glass. Great. Nice to meet you all. Nice meeting you. Nice Glenda. to meet you. Um, Glenda, can you talk to me a little bit about the variety of products that you have to sell and maybe the techniques that you use to make them? Well, we have many varieties, Meg. We have uh, these lovely constructed platters that we cut the glass apart and make a design and fuse them and give a nice sanding to. And then we make these wonderful powder bowls and they can have a lot of color to them. Glenda, you're actually holding your license, yes, your street yes. artist license. Um, and so what does this mean? This means that I went to a screen through a screening process with San Francisco and uh, they made sure that our family, each of us, participated in making all these beautiful products. It's, it's important for people shopping to come and buy from licensed artists because it means that the person selling is the person who made what you're looking at. And there's nobody better to talk to about product than the people that make it. Well, good luck to you during the holidays. I hope you, I hope you sell a lot. Thank you. Meg, I'd like you to meet Michael Johnson. He's been in the program for over eight years now. Hi, Michael. Nice Hello, to meet Mike. you. The pleasure's mine. Can you tell me a little bit about what inspires your beautiful photography? Uh, I'm inspired by everything that I see, actually. Um, the greatest thing about being a photographer is being able to show other people what I see and what I feel in life. I have mostly work that I shot in Cuba and work that I shot here in San Francisco. So what is it about being a street artist that you particularly like? 
I love the first 15 minutes I came out and did it my first day. I knew that I would love it. I knew that I was suited for it. I've always loved just talking to random people and just talking about art or anything that comes to our minds. I get a lot more visibility here than I would in any gallery or any storefront. And it really costs us relatively very little to do that. Well, I'm so happy to meet you. Thank you, you Meg. I wish you all the best in this holiday Thank season. Thank you very much. And um, beautiful work. Thank you, Meg. Thank you. So you're the wonderful artist who makes these children's clothing. I am. I'm Deborah yeah. King. Hi, Deborah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Deborah, how long have you been a street artist? I have been a street artist since 1976. Oh, Believe yeah. that. So how did you decide to become a street artist all those years ago? I was working at Magnons on Union Square. Mm -hmm. And at lunch hour, <laughs> I'd be out there visiting the street artists. and. It was interesting and exciting, and I have a creative streak in me, so after a while, I challenged myself and brought a product out. And so it's all children's clothing, and it ranges yes. from t-shirts to jackets to hats. Mm -hmm. What is a day in the life of a, of a street artist here at Justin Herman Plaza? And then we're down here between 5.30 and 6 in the morning. We do the whole setup, and then by the end of the day, the last people to pack their vehicles, probably get out of here around 7.30 at night. Well, Deborah, nice to meet you. Thank you, nice to meet you, thank Meg. Thank you for chatting. Thank you. Howard, thank you so much for showing me around today, and it was so wonderful to meet the artists and see so many wonderful things. Well, it was a pleasure to share this with you, Meg, and I really do hope that the whole Bay Area will descend upon this plaza and the rest of San Francisco and really go through these wonderful arts and crafts and buy some fabulous holiday gifts today. That would be amazing. Great. Thank, Thank you, you so much for all the hard work that you do and My for pleasure. supporting yeah. local artists. Thank you.